into the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. Comes out on opening day and turns in a great performance. That's how you want to get your season started. It's back business. You got me tied up in knots. Strung like a dog. Feel a model of luck. Back business. Yeah, you're all the same. That hurts somehow. George Springer stands in following an RBI single his first time through. Comes set, now the pitch. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. And this is hit hard on the ground to first. One there on to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Yeah, that's good hustle getting down the line. A double play could have really put the brakes on this rally, but he's able to beat it out on the back end just to keep things going here. Luis Valbuena is into the box for his second appearance. 0 for 1 with a fly out. From the stretch. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. Now at the plate, you're looking for something up in the zone. Try and keep it in the air. Make sure you don't hit into a double play. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Throw over to the bag, and he'll be back in standing up. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. Here we go. Here we go. Look into McCann, the 1-1. One -one. Chopper foul. He's ready now, the pitch. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Just a great two-strike pitch right there. And that's all you can say. As a hitter, you're seeing fastball out of his hand, and then boom, that just disappears on him. Come on, Yankees, let's go! Stepping in now, John Singleton. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside one and one split fingered pitch that's by him for strike two Set now the pitch. Nope. A little low, it's two and two. Boy, that's a good take there. I don't think I could have laid off that one. Go, shut him down. Let's keep him right here. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. And even though that runs the count full, You'll at least get the benefit of giving that runner at first a head start here. One run on three hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. And the throw to first will indeed get him. It's a strikeout score at two to three, and the inning is over. 
Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep them out of danger. More opening day baseball coming up following this. First baseman Mark Teixeira start things off here for the pinstripers. He'll be followed by Brian McCann waiting in the on-deck circle. First pitch on its way to Teixeira. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one and it's strike one. Trying to jump on that first pitch changeup. That's a good pitch there to start this A-B. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And he'll pounce on this quickly to tag him out. And this doesn't even seem physically possible. How can a catcher who's in a crowd three feet behind the batter wind up fielding the baseball and tagging the runner all in one motion. I think he just broke the laws of physics out there. In now, Brian McCann. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home court. Second Castro. Starlin Castro. Walks into the box, reached base with a double his first time up. And now a pitch on the way. Now a swing, and oh boy, ground balls have ruled the inning. A third straight right here. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Fifth inning coming up, tied at one. Jason Castro heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. Jason Castro. In there, and it's 0 1. Oh, he's just cruising out there now. I'll tell you, this may turn into a game of first team to two wins. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. And, and after walking him the first time around, he's all business here in the second half now. Oh, and look out as this runs in and gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Well, in a tie game, that leadoff hitter, he knows he has to get on. Probably didn't quite have this in mind, but I have a feeling he'll take it. Jose Altuve will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. He's ready. Now the pitch. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. The hit by pitch count definitely worth keeping an eye on there. One run on three hits. No errors in the ball game for the Astros to this point. And he falls behind now, two and zero. Oh. And his command is starting to desert him a little bit here. You hate to hit a guy and then follow that up by falling behind the next hitter, but that's what we're seeing. Big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. And Gardner there to put it away for the first down. Whoa, and as a pitcher, you hold your breath anytime a ball's hit in the air at this place, but luckily. He got under this ball a little bit too much. That runner has to retreat back to first base. Carlos Gomez stands into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. Oh, 
trying to jam him with the first pitch slider, but it's in a bit too tight for ball one. On the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Runners off for second. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Has a look, now the pitch. Chopped now to short. Can they get two? And they'll get the fielder's choice play at second, but that's all. Well, he could have put the first base bag out in the outfield grass on this play. You're not going to double this guy up. He's too fast. Still, a pretty good job of at least getting that knee runner at second base. Carlos Correa will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And now with the 0-2 count, he's got probably five different pitches he can throw here. So as a hitter, what are you going to do? Let's go! Throw over to first, he's in there. and he's back in standing. And another throw over keeping particularly close tabs on him. He's set, now the pitch. Ball one. Slider, ooh, thought he had him, but it's one and two. Now a move over to first, and the runner back. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1-1 ball game. Hit hard, but foul toward first, so he'll come back and line it up again. Another 1-2 delivery. Foul back. And this is fouled back and out of play. And this one runs in on him as it's grounded to first. Oh, not in time as he's able to leg it out. Never an easy play right there. Just trying to hit your pitcher in stride when you know it's going to be a close play at the back. And this time, the flip comes up just a little too late, and that's an infield single. Double-barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. Into the box now, Evan Gaddis. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Two down, runners at first and second. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Come set, now the pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Boy, he better get it back together here with two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. From the belt, the pitch. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. 
I think that's been his best pitch so far in this game. Guys just haven't been all that close to it. A swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Two left for the Astros. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Chase Headley comes to the plate as we get started here in the bottom of the fifth. Now here's the pitch. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. The pitch count there, one pitch into his fifth inning work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. First two pitches off the mark here, it's 2-0. And, oh. and on 2-0, and oh, and this is where he's the most dangerous up there. I know it's a fastball count, but I would maybe think about something else. Let's go! Now the pitch. Too high, and it's 3-0. And, oh. and it goes without saying, but this has to be in the strike zone. You don't want him on base to start off the inning. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. Four pitches. Fast, slow, fast, slow. EK, you thinking fastball here? It seems to fit the pattern, but you better not get too predictable out there. Guys will catch on quick. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Gomez is right there, one down. And that's one of those plays where you might need to reinforce the laces on your glove after this inning ends. This is a fastball, and it is hammered. I mean smoke. But he ends up with nothing, and his average is going to go down. Standing in now, Didi Gregorius. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in a strike. Real good lateral movement on that two-seam fastball. That pitch is money for him when it's moving like that. So just keep on throwing it. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. And you'd be in trouble at the plate if you fell behind 0-2 against this guy. So he's fortunate to hold up in time. Now here it comes. And this is going to be a foul ball. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Wow, he, he's using that fastball to devastating effect out there now. So he gets another out here. That's seven in a row now he's set down. Aaron Hicks in now. He went down looking in his first trip to the plate. And here's a fastball called for strike one. You know, maybe the most impressive thing about his performance so far, he's doing it all in a hitter's ballpark. But it's hard to come in here and pitch like this, but he's done a heck of a job. Ooh, right on, but this is foul down toward the box at third. Come on, New York. Pitch on the way. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. Maybe a good opportunity here to show him a changeup, give him a different look. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Two out, nobody on. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. in the air down the right field line but this will get back into the seats so the count holds at two and two three. and he comes back with a fastball strike three called and the inning is over 
One, two, three, go the Bombers. We played five full, tied at one aside. Colby Rasmus makes his way to the box to lead us off in the sixth inning. 